flying with us. We'll be back with more details about today's flight once we're up in the air. Good morning from Houston Bush Intercontinental. Today I'm flying to LAX on United 1647. Join me on today's flight experience. Thanks to my Star Alliance Gold status through Asiana, I'm eligible for United Premier access at no cost. I'll share what I'm able to access for today's flight. With the busy morning here, I could have used the Premier access line to check in. This time I was lucky to find an open kiosk right away as the Premier line looked long. I could have confirmed my seat on an earlier flight if I wanted to do that during check-in. This time I decided to stick with my original flight. I would have also had access to the priority security screening lane, but I already have TSA pre-check and that's usually the line I go through. By the way, in less than 10 minutes I went from printing my boarding pass to pass the security. There's my flight, 1647 to Los Angeles, on time departing at 10.07 a.m and departing from C7. One benefit that I do get as a Star Alliance Gold that is not United is that I can use the United Club for a domestic flight and even bring a guest if they're also flying on a Star Alliance flight. Let's check out the lounge here in Concourse C. It's breakfast time and the spread is fairly simple. So there's fresh fruit, bagels and pastries, cereals, coffee, tea, juice, and sausage and egg croissants. I went with some fruit, the croissant sandwich, and a machine-made latte. My breakfast came with an okay view too. For a busy Sunday morning, I was able to find a seat by the window. There were a lot of people inside, but it didn't feel too crowded or hectic. It was surprisingly quiet. A brief downpour occurred and this guy from LA, who never sees rain, started to worry. However, the heavy rain only fell for about 20 minutes. I found this United Club to be pretty decent and I'm glad I had this available to me. With it getting closer to boarding, let's head to the gate. Okay, so I wanted to see this plane since it was near my gate. Here's the United 737-800 in the Star Alliance livery. I find that out of the three major alliances, I think the Star Alliance livery looks best on the different Star Alliance airline planes. This plane is N14219 and arrived from Indianapolis at 8.17 earlier this morning. So enjoy this plane spotting. Another benefit is I get to board in group 1 at boarding, but after the pre-board. By the way, pre-board includes unaccompanied minors, people with disabilities, active military members, global service, family with children under 2, and Premier 1Ks. So there could be already a lot of people on board when it's our turn to board. Unfortunately, my Star Alliance Gold status does not get me a free seat in Economy Plus. I guess I could have asked at the gate, but decided not to this time. But I checked.
About 20 minutes after takeoff, the flight attendants came by with free snacks and beverages and snack boxes for sale. There were two choices, pretzels or what I chose, the cookies. I also got a cup of water to drink. Now on to the entertainment options on board. Remember, there are no seatback monitors or entertainment on these Airbus A320s. You can stream some shows or movies on the United app even without Wi-Fi. Or in my case, just watch the movie map. I was surprised to see the Hemispheres magazine was still available. So at least you could do some reading on travel to be entertained. Hey, there's a second round of beverages. Let's have some more water. that will be soon landing in LAX, let's wrap up this trip report. First, it's nice having some benefits, like being able to access the United Club and being in boarding group 1. It was nice to be a little closer to the front, being able to choose the preferred seat for free at check-in. Another perk for Starlight's goals, flying on United. The cabin is old and it definitely shows it is not as bright as a newer plane like the Max. Definitely felt a bit more narrow too. And it didn't help that it was a completely full flight. It was nice being given some wipes, and they might come in handy for you and give you some peace of mind if you choose to use them. It was nice having the snacks, though I wish there was a second round that came with the second round of beverages. There's a bit of a lag between when we got our first snack and beverage, as there were only two cabin crew members working the aisle so the second flight attendant couldn't help with the beverages until they finished giving out the snacks. And the crew seemed fairly young, or at least younger looking, so it's nice to see some younger crews working these flights. So nothing out of the ordinary on this United flight, to be honest. It's very standard service. We're about to land at LAX on runway 24R, so enjoy our landing and hope you had a great time flying with me today. Thanks for joining me on United Airlines 1647 from Houston to Los Angeles. See you next time.